This is Alpha Scuba Team 5, preparing to deploy into that cup of soda where Makarov's phone was. His Blackberry is our primary objective. Commander Makarov. Commander Makarov. That's not Makarov, that's some guy. At least the new Captain Price kind of looks like the old Captain Price. This is just some guy. Oh my god, I shot Makarov in the head, and that makes you lose the game? You lose if you kill Makarov? Do they even know what Call of Duty is? Wait a minute, was this made by Sledgehammer? Is this one of those Sledgehammer campaigns? Sledgehammer doesn't know how to make a Call of Duty. If it was them, that would make sense. Those guys wouldn't know Call of Duty if it threw a throwing knife in their eyeball. I can't kill Makarov. Captain Price probably can't kill Makarov, because Makarov has to be the bad guy for Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Come on, squad. We gotta drop into Al Mazra. We gotta secure the Halloween battle pass. Wake up, Farah. We remember that you exist. You're gonna get a mission this time. Captain Price and Makarov have like a Doofenshmirtz, Perry the Platypus type relationship. Except if Doofenshmirtz like committed mass murder instead of making wacky gizmos. Ah, Price the Operator. How unexpected. And by unexpected, I mean completely expected. <laughs> Shepard is using Site Hotel Bravo. You know where it is. See you in hell. Call of Duty has a $50 trillion budget, making it the most expensive game of all time, but does the ketchup and mustard bottle explode? No. At least the forklift blows up, right? No? What? The forklift didn't blow up from the grenade launcher, excuse me? Oh my god, dude. What happened to Call of Duty? Did Call of Duty really need to search the area type objectives? I think they didn't. I think they maybe didn't need to have this. There is now a girl, Makarov. We have two Makarovs in this Call of Duty. Ah, hello, Vanessa. Have you met my new army? This is my robot, Norm. You can tell he has a personality because he doesn't wear a mask. He's the only bad guy with no mask. I'm hoping that gives him some sort of main character armor. Okay, we're going to test my new plot armorinator. Somebody shoot him in the head. Huh, okay, he still died. Dude, the ghost with the sunglasses, yes. I love how sunglasses ghost is still my profile pic. Are they on Discord? What are they using right now? Why do they all have a profile picture? Come on, Soap, we gotta drop into the war zone, Soap. In this new world of modern warfare, the only way to make a campaign mission is to just have a piece of the war zone map, have an objective on it somewhere. Destroy the Coney helicopter zero out of three. Okay, at least I like the objective. Take that, helicopter, yeah. Now that's a Call of Duty I know. Knife the watermelon. Noise. Can you shoot all the red squares in the open world bad guy outpost? This is a far cry from what Call of Duty campaigns used to be like. I was excited when they said this will be the first ever canted COD campaign, but at what price? It was not worth losing the actual Call of Duty campaign in order to be able to hold my gun kind of sideways. Hmm, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, you say? Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a robot after all. I have a gun. Wait, what was that sound? He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Is this how Call of Duty campaigns feel for people who don't like Call of Duty campaigns? Like when people made fun of the old Call of Duties and they're like, all you do is walk through a hallway. I'm like, yeah, it's a little more involved than that. It's got some fun parts, but this is just, this is just walking through a hallway. This has not had a fun part so far. You think they would have put Makarov on the no fly list. They shouldn't let him into the airport. Last time he was here, things didn't go so good. There's a kid with the Breaking Bad pink teddy bear on the plane. That's how you know it's sad when no Russian happens. Makarov, we couldn't recover your phone out of the soda, sorry. Well, Help, that seals the deal. I guess I have to blow the plane up. No, wait, don't don't hit A. I don't have games on my phone. I have bombs on my phone. Captain Price, what are you doing? <laughs> what? He just flipped her into the concession stand. Is that a new takedown animation? Can I buy Captain Price throwing Lady into the concession stand for $25? Makarov, were you in the ambulance? That's where you were in No Russian. You used the ambulance to escape. Yep, there he is. Caught red-handed. Makarov, you can't use the ambulance to escape every time. You gotta choose a different car. We're just gonna stop you. So, are you really gonna tell me that Captain Price is not gonna kill Makarov in the head right now? He's really just not gonna shoot him? We're counting on him. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, Soap. Why does he sound like an orc? I like orc Soap. Orc Soap is a new character. Old Modern Warfare Soap is the real Soap. This is orc Soap. Makarov escaped. <laughs> he escaped. Was I supposed to be watching him? Oh my god, I gotta stay behind him. <laughs> soap just walked forward and he turned around and ran away. That's amazing. Get out of here, Makarov. Yeah, keep moving. Spank him, spank him. You've been a naughty boy, Makarov. <laughs> You've been a naughty boy, Makarov. The Dark Lord wants to have a word with you. Our plan is to lure Makarov into Shelob's lair and let Shelob take care of him. 
Did he just shoot Makarov? Captain Price, we, we gotta bring him in alive for some reason. We can't kill him. That was a little bit of the old Captain Price breaking through. The original Captain Price is like a spirit trapped inside of new Captain Price's body. Look at Shepard. Do not trust Shepard. I repeat, do not trust Shepard. He's even he's even dressed as loose ends ghost. Why is he dressed as loose ends ghost for no reason? <laughs> That's not the costume he wears in the new games. That's the old game. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, well, uh, this is awkward. I was just trying to call Kate. I wasn't, I didn't know that you guys would be there. Uh, remember in the last game when I betrayed you and tried to kill you? Uh, now here's Graves. <laughs> Graves is a good guy now. Now, listen, folks, I know that we all want to kill each other here because that would make sense and be cool and maybe even a little bit fun, but we're not going to do that because we just received intel that Makarov's on another part of the Warzone map, so go drop in and find some more armor plates. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Let's see your skills, Soap. What's the- <sighs> At least make the balls. You can't put a pool table in the game if the balls aren't gonna roll around. Okay, at least the gym balls will pop, right? What? It's the gym ball. It doesn't- Oh my god, dude. Soap to Shepard. Makarov just sent me an emoji. I don't know what it means. Uh, copy that, Soap. Give me a visual on the emoji. I will try to ID the bogey. Over. Alright, there it is. My god. Can we get a picture of Makarov where he's wearing a shirt, please? If we're just gonna keep using the same picture, I prefer to have him where he's wearing clothes. That's the picture that Makarov <laughs> sends to Soap. He sends that with the eggplant emoji next to it. We're having a snow mission, and there is vehicles in this Call of Duty. Can they have the winning combo? What? Why are we underwater? Oh, because we're gonna go through the ice. Ah, that's a super secret special ops technique. All right, blow him up. Go to work. We need him alive. <laughs> she said we need him alive? What? Our plan was to sink him to the bottom of the frozen Siberia lake and then grab him out of the car? Is that what we're doing? Target's air is gonna be running thin. Yeah, I'm sure his air is running thin. This is this is the worst possible plan for taking somebody alive. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was Shepard. <laughs> Shepard was the guy in the car? <laughs> What are you doing in cliffhanger, Shepard? All right, well, I guess General Shepard is here now, so, uh, breaks over Shepard? Let's go, question mark? Don't even think about making any moves, mister. I know what you did in the last game. The only reason there's a snow mission in this one is because some of the maps are in the snow this time, and so they, like, already made some snow assets, and they're like, yeah, we'll have, well, a snow level, why not? Dude, General Shepard driving a snowmobile would have redeemed this whole game. This campaign sucks, but if he was driving a snowmobile, that would have been awesome. I guess Task Force 141 learned their lesson. When they split up, they get killed. So in this game, they all work together all the time. Shepard is thinking, man, I wish they would split up so I could betray them, but I can't betray them if they're all together. This is making my job real difficult, partner. Hey, Nikolai, uh, do we do we have to get on? It kind of feels like a shame to leave the snow part without driving a snowmobile, right, guys? Like, we went through all the effort of coming to the snow field. No, we're just gonna leave with Nikolai? Okay, fine. Makarov aims to finish what he started in Verdansk. So Makarov is trying to kill Verdansk. He's trying to kill War. Zone. That's a cause I can get behind, honestly. I empathize with Makarov in this one. Soap, I found armor plates. Soap, everything is war zone now. Soap, all the bad guys have armor plates. I have armor plates. I gotta loot the building. Soap. If you ever make a first person shooter, modern warfare type campaign, and you have a budget of $50 million, and while playing your campaign, I think to myself, the Battlefield 4 campaign is better than this one. And you're in big trouble because the Battlefield 4 campaign isn't even good. You can really tell that Fish AI guy is no longer working at Activision because there's no fish to move out of the way when you get close to them when you swim in the water. He's too busy delaying X Defiant 25 more times. This campaign is what happens when you let attacking babies guy make the entire campaign. When the babies were cooing and giggling as, as they were chasing, and then when you started hacking at them with your scythe and they started crying like babies do, um, it became much more real and much more disturbing and wow, I'm, I'm attacking baby. He was on stage with Jeff going, are all new open combat missions. Open combat missions. Like shut up attacking babies guy. Don't let that guy do the campaign. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. <laughs> yeah, it's the cool guy Graves. I love Graves. Graves is so awesome, dude. I'm so glad he's not dead. Remember when he killed that entire town and was a bad guy because he killed an entire town? Not anymore. Forget about that. That didn't happen. You can't play Call of Duty without the AC-130 part. Yay. Call of Duty always has like extreme content notice. Beware, this campaign's like super messed up, bro. They should have a skip the AC-130 part notice. At the beginning of each campaign, they should say, hey, this one has an AC-130 part. You want to skip that mission? Yes. Uh, let me get this straight, General Shepard. You're telling me that you are the bad guy? No. Soap to price. I'm going to buy some popcorn. Negative soap. Do not buy popcorn, RP. Do not buy popcorn. I'm buying popcorn, price. 
I ain't had nothing but maggoty bread for three stinking days. My god. Makarov's gonna kill the channel. Be your voice, you're watching channel gaming. I repeat, you're watching channel gaming. Soap, we gotta get to the channel, Soap. Why didn't Soap tell the trains to shut down? Did TF141 not inform the transit authority that Makarov's gonna blow up the channel? We didn't tell him that. Christ, be advised. Makarov is in the channel. <laughs> That's a great voice line. Be advised, Makarov is in the channel. Soap, look out. Oh my god, Makarov got him. No, don't do it. Don't kill Captain Price. I should have listened to Makarov's in the channel. Yeah, kill him, Soap. Oh, he kicked him. Oh no, Soap. Don't worry, Soap. It's it's not that bad when you die in this game because people that die in this game just come back. Like, Graves came back, so Soap can come back. Sure, why not? <laughs> Ghost wears the mask at the funeral. He's wearing the mask at the funeral. When I die, everybody at my funeral better be wearing a Call of Duty cosplay. Oh, the end credit scene. Oh, General Shepard. Oh, what, is it going to reveal that he was the bad guy the whole time? Remember in Modern Warfare 2 where you chase him down a river and everything is blowing up the whole time and it's awesome. And then you got to like crawl up to him and you have like a cool knife fight and he gives a speech. And then it looks like you're going to lose and he punches Captain Price's hat off. But then at the last minute, you pull the knife out of your chest and you throw it at him. He's like, oh, and he dies in slow motion. And it's so awesome that Price just shot him in a cut seen this time so uh you know he's dead sledgehammer you suck stop making call of duty i can't believe they finally warzoned the campaign when warzone came out and was the most popular game ever i was like at least they'll still make the campaign the multiplayer is probably screwed and will suck now but at least they're still gonna make the cod campaign but now the cod campaign isn't even the cod campaign this is just you run around the warzone map and fight ai for five hours then soap dies in a cutscene. this sucks